Kind of going back to Ghana a little bit is uh, you got to tell the story. It's my favorite story of how they shuttled you around. And what I think you're talking about is uh, I was living in a, a small village in the eastern region of Ghana called Okarase, and uh, this is when I was studying um, with with the drum carvers, and it was a drum carving village. So they basically specialized in drums, of course, the Ashanti stools and the mortars and pestles that they use for, for making food. And so our village did did all of those things. And I was sort of one of them. So uh, I, I had a master, Master Boaten, uh, uh, whose name is kind of like mine. Um, <laughs> uh, and uh, and uh, I stayed with them for a couple months and he was responsible for me. And so he was responsible for my socialization to, 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 to make sure that I, that I met friends, uh, for my health, for my nourishment. Um, and uh, and so it was a fabulous experience because we would be at the workshop making drums all day. But when when business would what was slow, we would go to his cassava farm and and we would harvest cassava. Mm -hmm. um, and so uh, the entire village sort of took me under their wing. And you know this is at a, this is at a time of, uh, I was the only white guy, of course. Uh, it's before electricity and telephones. Um, it's probably changed a little bit now, but but uh, yeah, it was it was very bush back then. So what happened is um, uh, there was a wedding uh, uh, between someone in our village, o Okarase, and the next village down, Adesu. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, they're drumming and dancing, and uh, you know um, all of the carvers, including myself, were invited to this wedding. And then all of a sudden, a fight broke out, and I didn't understand what was going on, and so uh, it was terribly confusing because everybody spoke Chui, which was a, a, a different language anyway. So I went to my carver buddies and I'm like, what's going on? This is this is really weird. It looks like 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 there's a fight. And he said, they're fighting over you. Mm -hmm. And I said, what? I didn't do anything. I was just like standing there and watching. And, and he said, well, we saw them trying to put some juju on you and hurt you because they were jealous. Uh, of our village and the fact that you were staying with us and so they were trying to hurt you using witchcraft but wow. but but we saw it and so we attacked them and so uh and so you know instantly i felt bad and i felt like i turned from um a observer um in this culture to a participant and an and an uh, a, a reluctant participant at that and to, to cause something like this. And then it sort of got worse and worse and worse. They started throwing rocks. They started swinging mortars and pestles. Um, and the whole wedding ceremony broke up. I ended up going and hiding under um, a table at the marketplace. And I'm kind of uh, under there hiding. And, and of course, it's in my village. And so all the guys know me. So one of the guys at the market comes up and he's like, uh, Brad, would you like a cigarette? And I don't even smoke. And I'm like, yes, yes, please. And so I did. We, uh, we, uh, and so I, I stayed there until dusk. Under the table. Under the table. <laughs> um, the village is still sort of, um, I don't know what's going on, but there's still rocks flying and people yelling. Um, and so uh, um, this, this guy at the market flagged down a banana truck <laughs> that was uh, carrying bananas uh, back to Accra and explained the situation that they had a white guy that they had to get out of the village. And uh, and so I, I hopped on the truck and then rode about, it's about a two hour trip back to Accra. In the back of a banana truck. Yeah. I wanna play, I need to play. Take it away from me. 